Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of No Man's Sky. Alrighty, when we left off, we had just gotten done telling Apollo where to go, and now we bring well, the news of it to Nada. Red orbs. Dominant. Hostile to Nada fallen priest. Not a deity. Not worthy of worship. Atlas Liar machine of life and death and unknowing. Infection is at bay. Nada will endure. Infection? Interesting. Uh, or at least I thought that was what I was supposed to do, but that didn't go anywhere. So now I'm a little confused. Um... And Paulo? Uh, okay. Not a friend does not trust the portals. Scared of rampancy, of the Crimson Hunter. But I do not fear in the same way. What might we discover, traveler friend? What might we learn from them? They have the same roots as you or I, as our home, as all this universe. Ask about fear. Nada is scared we may lose our home. I am scared I will forget the world outside it. Do not let us forget, traveler friend. Okay. I guess I needed to speak to Paulo then. But now we go ahead and visit Null's chosen observatory, because that's the next thing we're going to do? Or... I guess that's what I should be doing after this. Continue to investigate Null. Okay. I guess that's what we're going to have to do. Wherever that observatory is, I'm just not quite sure. Ah! There we are. That answers my question. In we go. Seems like we're in the middle of a storm already here. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Approximate location. Land to begin search. How about I don't do that? How about I don't do that, huh? I'm pretty sure I remember it being high up. Whoop. Also recall not being that close to the ground. Okay, there we go. Better. Uh, boy. Like I thought, it was a storm already ongoing. Well, that looks like it might be where I'm trying to go. Nope. Maybe? Now my headset's acting up, that's for sure. Give me a second while I'll try to troubleshoot that, because this is the second time. Yeah, that was weird. Headset wanted to... Yeah. No, I know. I'm assuming this is the observatory. Yeah, middle of the storm. Probably not the best time to jump out of my ship. But I made it in. That's the important part. More navigational data. I'm well aware, computer. Thank you. Once again, for the warning. That I knew. Okay, so the observatory terminal is here. Null's prediction was correct. The terminal is curiously open. The log's ready for me to read. This observatory appears to have functioned as a salvage station, manned by a Gek specialist. 
A translator, they were accused of questioning things that should not be questioned, of sowing the seeds of dissent. This posting was meant as a punishment. But it appears that this posting was the making of them. They found strange things in the wrecks. Aberrations, data that spoke of worlds that do not exist, and events that did not happen. That Gek went outside, went out to investigate one such craft. The life signature of a Corvax still on board. They never returned. Is this how Nada and Polo meant? Is this how my friends found each other? There's a signal on the console, a warning on repeat. Sixteen short bursts of data in a loop. I extract coordinates for the distress signal. A crashed vessel awaits me on another world. A freighter crash site. Storm's still going? Yeah, it's still going. Okay, time to run quickly to my ship. Yeah, isn't it always? Alright. And that is... Crash site technically on this planet. Just... A little further away. Reach the atmosphere. Oh, would you call now? There we go. Ah, okay. <laughs> Don't know what that HUD issue was. That's weird. That's a weird bug. It's still currently a weird bug. It's still going on. I noticed it's still flickering. All right, let's try that again. It was on a different world. I see. It says the crash site is here. At least the approximate location. Like I need to land to find a fucking... It's late enough in the episode, I can swear. I had to look and double check, though. Uh, uh, if I'm looking for a freighter... There it is. I was about to say, it wouldn't be that hard to find from the skies. And sure enough, I was correct. There we go. Anomaly. Boundary failing. Anomaly strength 4140. Worm-ridden moon. Infinite toxic mist. No sentinels. Frequent flora and ample fauna. The SS Ruakaya. Okay. Well, I might as well scan things while I'm here. Huh. Potentially medicine for that. It's also a carbon element. As is that. Okay. Scan everything I can. That's all I can do. Nope, that doesn't count. Is anything? I'm going to scan this. The hell is that? That looks interesting. Alright, but I'm going to chalk it up to the fact that this is an anomaly planet and everything's a little kooky. I wonder if there's anything interesting over on this side. Yeah, yep. That there is. This is a plant? Great sulfurine. 
Okay. Star bulb. All right. Interesting. Star bulb. Sulfurine is a is a thing I need. Maybe not now, but in the future. Very heavily in the future. Paraffinium oxygen. Sulfurine. Okay. There we go. Is it just me, or does the mining laser look different than it used to? Like, there's a little oscillation lighting near the, uh... Yeah. There is. Huh. Cool little addition they did. That should be fine. And oxygen for that. And... Yeah. Do one of those. Yeah, that's good. That's good enough. All right. Chromatic metal for that. Okay. Log encryption key. Okay. Got a log encryption key. What is that? A fragment of the encryption override sequence for a freighter's emergency log. Several parts of the sequence may be required to gain full access to recorded data. So I'm gonna need to use all of that is what you're said is what you're telling me, right? Put that base all there, because I won't need it now, but later I will. Alright. Put all of this where it's supposed to be, since I have the freighter here and all. Uh, where do I put this is the question. There. There we go. Better. Okay. I do not have a lot of space. <laughs> At least not yet. Yes. Okay. Alright. I missed... I missed. Damn it, I missed. Another log encryption key obtained. There is a cargo pod here and here. I'm pretty sure I can reach this one, technically. Maybe not exactly the way I would hope, but I can at least reach it. There. Much better. Alrighty. Good. Actually, you know what? Get out as much of this as I can. Make it slightly easier. Get out of here. And... There we go. Another log encryption key taken care of. And quickly got out of there. Not as quickly as I would have liked, but quick enough. Alright. Okay. Alright. Interesting symbol that was on this freighter. Aha! Unearthed. Okay. There we go. This is. Log encryption key. And... 
probably enough, isn't it? Probably. At least I don't think there'd be any more here. Huh. One further down. Well, in that case... Ah, there is a panel I can break. Good. That way I don't have to... Whoops. Helps if I hit the right button. Alright. Further down we go. Ha! There we go. encryption key. Alrighty. There's one more pod there. Maybe I should try the thing before I get that. Smashed remains. Crew manifest missing. Limited data available. An encryption key. I do not know who will read this message. I do not know if anything will survive, but I must die as I lived. I will record it all, even in the face of oblivion. The swarm came to every world. The drones acted erratically, not attacking, just watching. Time passed and the sentinels did not seem so much a threat anymore. They were peaceful now, we thought. We had been forgiven. We were wrong. Another encryption key. Ship logs requested. Accessing. They struck as one. An attack somehow coordinated across unfathomable, unfathomable distances. I can talk, really I can. With a fury exceeding all prior skirmishes, the Sentinels annihilated all biological life within the universe in a span of 54.2 standard minutes. Only I remained. The Corvex stood with me in the end, to their credit. They concealed me within their flotilla as they headed towards the center. Log integrity compromised. Patching. They are coming now. The screams of my friends resonate in every hall, every corner. The sentinels have found me. I told Nada to leave. I told them what we already know, all of us. We are not alone. Even if I die, Nada will find me again in another universe. Ten, just like me. A thousand. A million. We are not alone, for every soul is many. Even in the face of sixteen... We must declare that we lived. We existed, no matter the horror of the end. They are at my door. I... Error. Unexpected log termination. sure how to take in what I just read. It seems to suggest a multiverse of sorts? Something like it? Well, I got some acid at least. That's good. That's something. I guess. Um... Oh, come on, where do I put these? That's right there. Good. Alrighty. I 
I think that's the last... Yeah, the last thing from this freighter. It seems we also have animals nearby. Interesting. Okay. So... Apparently the universe has been erased before by the Sentinels. That explains why the Viking would want to kill them so much. But... I'm starting to wonder if I understand at all. I'm even understanding correctly. And temperature is going down significantly. looking. Huh. Shephorad. Huh. Interesting indeed. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm still not entirely sure I understand. I was about to say, I was wondering when that was going to break. Okay, um... I'm not getting a lot of sulfurine out of these. I would be expecting to get a little more out of them, but I guess not. And I figured it would overheat. Trying to avoid that as much as possible, but there we go. That one gave me more sulfurine. That was weird. I can't even hit that one from this distance. Also, there seems to be more creatures over here. No idea what this is. It's like a little bearish sort of creature. Very man, very anemic bear. There's the word I was looking for. There we go. I was about to say I knew I was getting something out of it. Eventually, this is going to break. It's going to have to. There it goes. Okay. Hmm. A whispering egg to boot. Okay. Not sure what I'm scanning. What the <laughs> the hell is that face? What the? Okay. All right. I guess. Sure. <laughs> Sorry, this is fun looking to look at. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right. Whatever. Uh, 
Time to scan this unidentified plant here. There we go. Okay. Now at this point I'm just scanning the local stuff, but I'm also trying to mentally put together everything I just read. Everything that the game just told me. I'm not sure if I'm able to do it on my own, though. So... Apparently, on an anomaly planet like this is when Nada was released from the last... I don't know what. Because the Sentinels killed all biological life. Then how is any of this still a thing? I mean, I've run into Vikeen and Gek and all of that. How is any of that possible? Which is why I'm thinking multiverse, because he had to have fallen out of a universe where they were all wiped out and then fell into this one where he met Polo. not quite sure I understand. Well, hi there. How are you? You are biggin. Biggin in just the right color, too. <laughs> well, right color for me. Kinda curious. Kinda curious to see what the, uh, I know I can't afford it now, but I'm kind of curious to see what the price of the ship is. Well, look at you. Look at you. Not necessarily my style, but... Oh, I had to look for a hollow terminus. That was what I should have done. Well, now I'm here. Uh, these are all... These are all up up da Corvax. There we go. That's the word. Commander Skit. Okay. Entity, what brings you here? Up da didn't understand all of that. Let me look at Yeah, I'm right. I wouldn't have enough money. It does have one more Raider slots, but that's about it. It's not really that much of an upgrade. Hmm. Yeah, it's not that much of an upgrade. Yeah, it's probably not worth it. In the grand scheme of things. But anyway, I need to head to that hollow terminus. I didn't get to see you. Well, oh. it's fine. Head out. Find that hollow terminus. That was here on this planet. Pium. I. I escaped. Traveler, I escaped. One moment I was running from them, the stars shifting, terrible smiles within the dark. And the next I was here. Well, wherever here is. This new world has a sun, has life. It's beautiful, but I think anything would be beautiful after months spent in that awful place. 
I'm ready to get going now, though. We'll do what we did before, except there will be no shifting stars to stop us this time. If you bring this star chart to a nearby station, I'm sure we'll find each other. Artemis is unaware of everything. They do not know that they died. That I made a choice to bind their soul with an innocent... Oh, no. I didn't know that they'd be able to contact me. have to. He needs to know. No, does he really, though? He was supposed to be unaware. Supposed to be unable to contact the outside world. He was supposed to not be able to do this. Damn it, Nada. They deserve to know. But how do I tell them that their world is not real? Even if I saved, if, if even if I saved them from death, I took their dreams away from them. They are limited to a single system and will never meet a kindred soul. Break it to them directly. I tell Artemis everything. From the moment I discovered their grave to the final upload of their soul to a simulated solar system. Artemis thinks I am joking at first. I will never forget how their smile falters. After a few more questions, they tell me they need some time to think about what I have said. Well, now I need to talk to Nada, for sure, since he was the one who assured me there wouldn't be any problems. There wouldn't be anything like this happening. That was what he told me. Nada tends to Artemis' entity, tends to their home and our home. Nada knows of your decision. Nada will support your choices. You already know that I told him. Thank you. 
Nada nods their head. They are quiet, reflective. I miss the dirt, friend. The worlds on which I once walked. I miss the sounds of birds and beasts. Even my data. Even my recordings are gone. As if they had never been. Nata told me about your choice. You are wise. There is no easy action for poor Artemis, friend. No, there's no easy choice, but did I make the right one? I'm not sure about that. I'm still not sure about that. Okay. Alrighty. Who need money? I don't know about anyone here needing money, but nice of them to offer, I guess. Where? Where is this threat detected? Oh, let's see. All right. Seems to be near the planet's surface here. Actually in the planet's atmosphere. Didn't expect that. Well, readying the first volley. Yep, it's down here now. Stuff. Now we get out of here. <laughs> yeah, about that. There we go. All right. Where is my frigate? That is a better question. There it is. There's my capital ship. Tempted to have it a little closer to where I'm supposed to go. There we go. Because it's at least in the system. I'm aware of the extreme temperatures, but what I need. Allow me to place it here, but I guess not. Need to go out a little further, I guess. Too close to planet. I've seen them be in low orbit before. What do you mean, too close to planet? Oh, hey, whatever. Come on. Slowly making my way further out. One would think it would be <laughs> able to be summoned by now. Come on. Oh, boy. too close to the planet. And now I'm too... <sighs> Screw it. I'll summon it from the surface, since that seems to be when it will actually summon.
mainly because I needed to check on my... Oh, there we go. That's where I wanted. Good. All right. I'm waiting until it drops to the lowest. There we go. And... Oh, now you'll summon. <sighs> All right, whatever. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Please tell me none of those eventually hit me. <laughs> Please tell me none of those can. All right. All right. Made it. Good. <sighs> Speak to no. Give me a second, though. His voice requires that I clear mine. One second. Better. What did you find out there? Tell me everything. I tell Null of the freighter and its recordings, how it spoke of a world where the Sentinels eliminated all life, leaving only a traveler and a single Corvax entity. I chose my words with care. You think I do not know who that Corvax entity is? Do not be so naive, Traveler. Do you think anything you have read is a surprise to me? But I had to be sure of what I suspected. I know it now. The Atlas is with you. You could not see these things if it did not wish it. That freighter was a wreck from a parallel universe. I fucking knew it. Mm. There are countless such places within our multiverse, dimensions where things happened differently, but there are three exceptions to this. So it is a multiverse thing, but three exceptions to things where they happen differently? The Atlas is omnipresent in all, a single being within a singular perception. The Sentinels move between dimensions at will. Okay, so the Atlas is the source of everything, and the Sentinels are what? They served the Atlas once. They were guardians of reality, defenders of civilization. Sorry, my throat keeps giving out. I guess I'm still more sick than I thought. They hunted for errors within the universe. They hunted for errors within the universes. Preventing destruction and loss of life. The annihilation recorded in that log. Well, something must have been quite wrong for them to do a thing like that. How would you know? I've been alive for a very long time, Traveler. I know as much as you would know. Had you seen the things that I have seen? It was the travelers who corrupted existence. Our arrival was meant to herald a glorious age. But we made a terrible mistake. I... I committed an act beyond forgiveness. And from this deed, paradise was lost. But something is different in this cycle. The walls between universes, they grow thin. Nada knows this, but they keep their head in the sand. We must learn what we can from each species before we decide what to do. Visit a Viking cartographer and speak with them. I will translate. So I need to speak with a Viking cartographer.
Okay. Okay. Didn't expect, uh... That. Leg meat. Okay. Okay. So... I was correct in multiverses. I was correct in that there was some sort of crossover there. But apparently the Sentinels are supposed to maintain each parallel universe. But something went wrong in that cycle. So technically there was never supposed to be Nada and Polo here in this way. Interesting. Share news of Null's plan with Nada. That's probably something I should do, yeah. But I still need to check up on my fleets after they were done with their expedition. And actually, you know what? We're slightly over time already, so I'm just going to end the episode here for right now, and I'll check on my fleets. So, I think it was just one fleet, but anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. Share and comment so I can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the game we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat, playing games and apparently bringing on new ships, while also trying to figure out what the source of this issue seems to be in not only this universe, but every universe. Apparently there's something going on, and something going very, very wrong. But I guess we'll find that out after conferring with Viking Cartographer through Null. But maybe we can get an inkling of what's going on by talking to Nada. Even though he seems to want to ignore it, according to Null. Null seems to know a lot more than he's letting on. But I guess we'll find that out soon. For you!